Well, Tambler has just published its analysis of the magnitude 6.4 Ferndale earthquake in the northwest corner of California, and it's full of surprises. And the biggest one you're staring right at. All of the faults that have been carefully mapped in this area are pointing to the northwest, and they're all right lateral, like the San Andreas. Whichever side you're on, the other side moves to the right. But you can see from the line of yellow aftershocks that this earthquake was actually left lateral and cuts right across all these faults and probably just doesn't come to the surface. And so the faults at the surface are utterly misleading as to what this earthquake was about. And this is a problem for anybody who tries to build seismic hazard assessments based on map faults. Now, why are there so many faults in this area? Well, the answer is that this is a triple junction. This is one of these places where three tectonic plates meet and it's an unhappy meeting. The plate is highly distorted and that's why there's this network of faults. But we can ask the question, what has this earthquake done to those big faults? Well, we calculate that it's mildly promoted failure on the Cascadia megathrust, that's that big pink fault to the north, and it's mildly inhibited slip on the northern tip of the San Andreas. So it's a good news, bad news situation on a surprising and important earthquake. Read about it in our article.